What's good? I hope you're having a fantastic day or a fantastic night. Either way, I hope you guys are having a great one. This is the finale of The Wolf Among Us. If you have missed out what has going on in episode 4, make sure you go over there. We're at the very end where we saw the symbol change places and switch to a different area uh, to be located in. Now we are surrounded by the whole group uh, with Devil Horns, Guy, and Dean Dumb, Vivian, Georgie, and the man himself, the Crooked Man. So I did not see Bloody Mary, so don't know where she is. But I think she might be there, just hidden somewhere. I have no clue. I'm very excited for this one. Before we get started, I just want to thank everybody who has watched the entire series. I appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for all the love and support that we have on this channel so far. With that being all, camera off. Lego. All right, so we are back. Um, this is the finale, as I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, as I can see, there's only five episodes. So we have some new characters that we've been introduced to and some updates on characters that we already know so let's just see what happened in episode four and what new tales that we get to read so here we go so now first silver bullets now this one when she shot bloody mary shot bigby wolf's weakness the legends of great and magical wolves may often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tale bear and those tales bear out to be true. The silver bu bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. So that's why he went down pretty quickly. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can use long-term damage. Good thing is that she shot him once. Imagine if you shot her multiple times, he would have been gone for sure. Now, her being the acting deputy since Crane is uh, gone for right now, she has considered herself as the new boss. The new boss. Boss? The new boss. So, Snow White. With Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane. But now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with the new level of politicking she had not previously been exposed to. And sadly, with that, you know, have to tell bad news about Toad and his son going back to the farm. And we probably have to do the same thing with the pig. We shall see on that one. Next up, the Jersey Devil Garden State Goon that we met at the pawn shop where we were trying to see if the shard was there. And this man was about to fight Woody. Um, but let's see. Not all of the fables who came to this world land did in Fable Town. Those there are those who scattered across the furthest corners of the earth, and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State to the Empire State. Such is the Jersey Devil. Reports of its appearance have varied, although most accounts make mention of leathery wings, but an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. Yeah, I don't know who the Jersey Devil is in. I have no clue. I can't even tell you. If anybody knows, let me know. Or they'll probably say it in the in 
in this episode, but I don't, I'm not sure. Next up, we go to Woman's Axe. That's the one that we saw Bloody Mary had. And she takes it back to this pond that she just puts back as inventory. Um, so, as in Sourceled by Droids, or Druids, sorry. Once just a simple tool for failing trees, the axe became much more when it was intercelled by druids and marked with their runes, which we see on that axe. But it truly became an object of legend when the woodsmen used, used it to slice the big bad wolf from nave to neck. In protection of the Little Red Riding Hood, it may carry old world charm but its simplicity of design and quality worksmanship make it an effective tool or weapon even today. Next up, we go to Johan. Johan? Johan? The Butcher, which uh, we didn't know that much of, but we know that he was with the Boss Man, the Crooked Man. Uh, so his name is often said in the same breath that of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other trademen, Johan the Butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef were vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's uh, business has fallen on hard times and fallen with the wrong crowd as the quality of his products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked man some have started to wonder if they will ever really knew Johan and like he did say like it was too late because there was nothing big we can do about it at the time and you know it, it falls on his shoulders at the end of the day because we can not help Johan with whatever he had problems but I feel like Green has been not telling us a lot of mess that's been going on lately so you know, there's a lot of files that have not been completed. Um, so, yeah. Next up, Bluebeard's money. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fabletown government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength. Because as far as Bluebird is concerned, is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him from the Mundi world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. Hmm. Okay. Next up, the Crooked Lair, which we met at the very end, occupying a desanctified church this is just one of the many locations the crooked man's operation use uses to run the Babeltown underworld its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you are unwelcomed unless you are an unwelcome guest it is completely boarded up to the outside world the only way in is through one of the main many portals marked by a door with a crooked man's Catherine real icon scattered throughout the city and elsewhere pretty much just wherever that logo is wherever the symbol is that's where he's at we get to the crooked man crime lord that I ah uh. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fabletown. His operation started with a crooked sixpence 
and a crooked house, two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way. Wow, that's crazy. In his, in his rise, the crooked man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Oh, this is gonna be tough. It might be tough, I don't know. And we're like, in a room with the thug, D, and Dom, and Olivia. Is her name Olivia? It might be Olivia. It might be Olivia. I don't think. I think it is. I don't know. I have no idea. I forgot. Uh, and um, who else was there? And Bloody Mary. So we shall see. Tiny Tim, which I was freaking shocked. Um, Century. While most fables. Th Theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the mundane world's knowledge of them for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is an integral integral part of the fable story, that notor no that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. Hopefully I said that right. Sorry. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least. And no medical care or magic, rather none that he can afford, can heal his leg. I mean, if he, that man can't fix his freaking eye, he can't fix his freaking leg. So, that's understandable. Life on the farm. With this indelic location, and managed community, the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out an existence in Fable Town. But those who have lived there see it very diff differently. They see it for what it is, a prison, a place where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't help that fables that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm they always seem to feel the leadership grows there so it's just a place where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please except leave so you're just living a regular life it's just it's just boring there you just can't i mean you just can't leave Hmm. That's good, but sucks. Man. Let me check. This is Olivia, right? Vivian. I'm so... Vivian. My apologies, Vivian. I... Um, but that is all the information that we have on this one, so... Previously. On the Wolf Among Us. I mean, your eyes... And the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, God! Bigby! 
This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well... Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, okay. Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? He's the only guy I didn't punch. Everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything it's like that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Mm -hmm. Those women, I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you, but the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. So you really don't need to worry yourself further. So who did it? An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? Oh. <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. Do we need to do a round I was three? It wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Jo really? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now.
Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Why'd you, you do, do it? it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Yeah. Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted what I feel like that's too easy of an answer. And I want to make things right. So let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. Oh. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Wait. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? After everything I've done Take to them you? both of you. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm no, going I'm with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? What? No, that's crazy. No. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you. I'm taking. I'm getting them both in. I'm gonna find a way. Shoot. <clears throat> Got the freaking Sinister Six. Get this guy. Oh shoot. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Stop it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, 
Up. I ran out of freaking patience. I don't even care if they die or not. It's a whole freaking sequence until the thing is over. Oh, R2. Fuck, what was that? Surprise. Oh, shoot. Crooked man was right there? No way. Get up. Wow. Gun it. Are you Dead sure? end, huh? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. I feel like I could have just stayed there. Yeah, I could have just stayed there. Come on. Wow, you really okay. went to your own place? You wasn't really trying to hide? Surprise y'all y'all went to the put it in a pot. We're going in. And y'all left the door freaking open. I didn't even lock the doors. Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Just scare him real quick. Bigby, I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. That's to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Just leave it alone. I'll arrest you too if I have to. Go ahead. Okay. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you? Obviously. Little, knowing that man of murdered. Of course him. it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean. Uh, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look. I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good for nothing crooked bastard. Decide you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Explain, Look, please. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think uh. I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. Georgie. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying I to... I know what you were trying to do. Well, guess what? You're still responsible. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. 
Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. I mean, you <sighs> pulled the trigger. <sighs> you but what was I supposed yourself. to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What? You freed them What would what? you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die, do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The original... The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls, girls quiet, quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You right. remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? Your ribbons. You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. So why you did you... You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place... It was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up. You Not don't a... get a choice if you're involved in this. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? Uh... What I did to Faith and Lily? All of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Vivian. Oh! No. Fuck! No, 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 oh, no! Oh, shoot! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh! Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die here. 
I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Make a promise to a dying man. Give him hell. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right, Shepherd Metalworks. Oh be there. man, fucking asshole! You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first, rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. Okay. All right, Georgie. <laughs> all right. He wants. He wants. He wants me to end it. That goes. People are not gonna like that. Oh, if they looked at the mirror. What if they looked at the mirror? Oh, they. Oh, Snow White looked at the mirror. They most definitely look at the mirror. Here. I wasn't even thinking about that. But I, wow, so. That's why they didn't take off the. Once you take off the ribbon, their head is literally come off. That's that's crazy. So now she's since Vivian is gone, Narissa can tell us everything. Well, we already know everything now. <laughs> Obviously, we know everything now. Shepherd Metalworks. This is the car. But now Nerissa is free. Still and the other here. girls are. He's here, alright. Now, our tough opponent is probably going to be the Crooked Man, but for right now, Bloody Mary is our. Kryptonite, it looks like. Of course. Okay, thank goodness the sound of the door was quiet. That would have been a problem. those packages. So this is where they've been sending these. They know it's going to be a visit. Big B. Wolf. Barry? The Big Bad Wolf. You used to be something. Whoa. That pictures of everything. Snow White with Narissa, Faith, and I'm guessing this is. Sorry if I have this name wrong. Holly. Faith again. Faith being that and Arissa. Whispering in the ear and smoking. 
Ah. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Workbench. A bunch of silver bullets. Silver. The big bad one. Oh wow. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? All right. Here we go. Oh, come on! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Okay. Hold on. Should we could disappear back? Where right, were your senses? Where were your senses? Let's go over here. He's trying to trick me. Shoot! That was too quick. Try again. I dare you. Oh, God. And shards of glass around her body is disgusting. Dang. Now. Come on. Just spam. Come on. Keep spamming. Ah, ah, dang. 
shoot! <laughs> you got me! <laughs> Dang! Gonna do. What is this? He's pulling him away, I guess. That no works. That's not her final form either. Maybe it is. Come on. Ah! Okay. I thought I was gonna stab her die. I think he can do that again for a little while, or maybe he can. Can't believe that shirt's now ripped off. Still put the tie on, too. <laughs> now. Can I arrest you Hello, now? Bigby? You look tired. Give me I one am. good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Is there an option for me to not? to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few I'm not going to move. I'm not going to do Snow it. Snow White wants you to bring you back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. One second. And I'm sure right, Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The what whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. I mean, it's we're funny. gonna keep it alive. I'm pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. I'll be silent. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Okay. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. 
But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. I'm doing this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is gonna answer for that! Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Come on. Although I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. Thank you. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. I was about to. I was about Such to do it. I was about to do it. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Cover. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your I was about to do it. Will follow. Do we have the gun? He probably has it in his pocket. Okay. Oh my goodness. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? How does this thing happen? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Here we go. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. And after what happened with Mary... Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking to crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming uh -huh. here on such short notice. Good I know trial. normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed What's him. It? He's dead. He's what? He's dead. dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Go ahead. Fine. Let us go right ahead. Wait, that's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. Oh. But only then. My bad. If you insist. My bad. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order. 
inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and <laughs> providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of I magical artifacts. I won't, I won't interrupt. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stunt the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then. we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this to let is him about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. It's fair. This is ridiculous. I know. It's stupid, but... Wow. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is fucking bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I wouldn't call that Helpful help. isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. Uh, What's he talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are right. not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Aren't you when the... your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling mm. on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Mm. He got, yes, he got a point. Wasn't I? But that was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. 
Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. The wolf? She wanted oh, well, my tree yeah. destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. Mm. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know. She made a mistake. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It oh, had nothing shoot. to do with a crooked man. Ah, man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. Oh, You're thank all still you. afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Do we have the we have the whole team? Oh, we have the whole freaking team. Oh my god. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie bird. was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? Oh, this is just going to say this a lot. Mistakes. Shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten uh... to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? He was a suspect. And I needed answers. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Right. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't oh, answer wow. for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone Whoa. calm down. 
This isn't I the mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to help. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Uh. Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, uh, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who uh, will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? She's free. Now she can explain. I I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you okay. take a moment to catch your breath? Little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. Say We're it. kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. Uh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we right. couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's yes. body. Yes. Come on. Did you kill her? Oh, shit. Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We Vivian. need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie i'm sorry um i don't think narissa I my name is narissa it's okay my dear it's going to be just... he ordered them dead this fucker faith and lily that's a lie i was in the goddamn room when he did it faith and lily are dead because of you the only two people who ever gave a damn about me and now i can finally say you're an asshole and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry, he's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always Let's him. Go. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. Uh -huh. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Guilty me too. as so charged. Calm right? down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen what to you yourselves. Mean? You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Just Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you. Enough. Maybe there will she be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood shed so we get rid of him. I trust her. Everyone, listen I up. No, yet. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about we a should... vote? Do you think this is? We, we should, should have vote. a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Let's Bibi? Vote. What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Oh. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf. It's, it's your my call. call. <laughs> no. Just do what you think is right. Okay, I'm going based on my logic. Yes. Yeah, sure. I think. Shoot! Do we don't have the options. Right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Let me pause. Okay. Okay. Shoot. Okay. So. 
me personally, this man has done terrible things that he thinks is hidden. Dropping down the wishing well, yeah, that would, you know, be, that would be it. But I feel like being in a prison and having Auntie, Auntie Greenleaf, help us with the magic for him to not escape could work. And plus, it will give the Fable Town the respect of, yeah, you'll get locked up. Instead of getting dropped down in the wishing well, you'll get locked up if you do something messed up. You feel me? I feel like that's just a better way to appro to approach it. So he he deserves to be locked up. I don't think down the wishing well, down the well, but when I say the wishing well, but not down the well. Let's take him to prison. We'll take we'll we'll lock him up. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not we'll lock him up. Oh, Stoot! Whoa, 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 Come on. I'm not gonna do anything with you. You all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Lock him up. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. What he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right. I think it's just better this way. I think it's just better to lock him up. Even though people will hate it for sure, but. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, not what I was expecting. More That's the quicker man. Crooked man. <laughs> He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. I don't know if you remember me. I know I who don't. you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at oh. the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking lie. Damn. Jack. So. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. And people are gonna hate us. That's fine. It is what it is. Back to normal. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Great. Surprised we didn't tell him that he can go to the farm. Hmm. Yellow brick roadhouse. Roadhouse. And they are on their way to go. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, 
Thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> Shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Wait! Sheriff Bigby! I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice, so... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm mm -hmm. sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. Even in the daytime. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Uh, we're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, Sorry, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, he must have run off. Bullshit! Sorry. If they gave Say me the goodbye. option... Larissa... Oh, did they heal you? They took care of the, the ribbon? Hi. Hi. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. She can't take it off. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Yeah, don't take it off. Don't take it off. You're good. Don't take it off. Don't take it off. You're good. You're good. Listen, don't take it off. I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some... Leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Oh, shit. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> the first cigarette, I guess. I don't think she likes our cigarettes, though. Thank you. Yeah, give him a hug would be weird. That, that, that'd be... Yeah, that's, that's... 
I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. Too, right? He had no. to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked Not man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. Okay. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So mm -hmm. I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People so like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. Mm. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... <sighs> fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Mm. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from mm -hmm. where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this it. job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. I appreciate it. Oh, no. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's what Faith I need to said. Tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her to so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait. Clone? Wait. We'll let. We'll let her go, but could that be Faith? Wait. She faked her death. She used another clone. I'll see you around. Maybe that was Faith. 
Huh. Wow, okay. Probably the most definitely fake. Wow. And that's how we ended here. What a freaking great great <laughs> This is my favorite one. I had much fun with this one than the expanse, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I'm glad that I went back to a Telltale series game. Uh before before we and before I blabble or talk a lot or yap a yap blah 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 lap a lot. Uh yap a lot. Uh let's just look at the player choices. What did you do to Georgie? You and sixty eight percent of players killed him. I mean he was he asked for it. Might as well. I didn't punch him at all the whole time. I mean I stabbed him for the first time and at at the very end. So we we finally took a jab at him. But everybody else we we like either hit or just beaten up like crazy. Georgie was the only person that I did not like punch or hit at all. Uh did you give the crooked man a trial? You and eighty nine point six percent of players brought the crooked man back al back alive. Wow, okay. I feel like it's understandable because Snow would would have wanted that. And I don't think a lot of people wanted to let Snow White down. So that's for sure understandable. How did you punish the crooked man? You and forty seven point four percent of players chose to imprison the crooked man. Um I just wanted to see something different. I feel like it would have been better, you know? Uh, just me personally, just going down the well, it's just, we're back to the beginning, you know, whereas we should start anew. So being in prison with magic. So he's a, you know, a black bird might as well. So after that, um, since he's a crow. I don't know why I said blackbird, because he's literally a blackbird, but a crow. He's totally fine. Hopefully, Auntie Greenleaf know what she's doing, but I have trust in her. Did you uh, accept TJ's gift for snow? 98.5% of players decided to accept J uh, TJ's gift for snow. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't, it should be 100%, but I can understand the 2.5 since probably... They were just seeing what if we didn't, what if they didn't accept it. So that's fine. And then what were your last words to Narissa? You and 29% said I made a lot of mistakes. And that's how we got into um, the, you're, I'm, uh, Bigby is not as bad as, he made a lot of good choices as well. So, and then just having that repeated of, I met you before. And Narissa could probably be Faith, which means that, bro. Prince, the Prince really took his life then for no reason. She's alive, just in a different, dang. And if I took her ribbon off, it could have been Faith. Or we needed to take a spell from probably her, like, her purse or something. And we take it out. And then we had to, like, unlock the white deer. And then it will probably show up as Faith, probably. But it was probably Faith all along. But, man. Okay. So, oh, special stats. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. Okay. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment, which we did not. She, she saw you. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Yeah. 
You gave him a drink when you asked, oh, so this is everything that has happened to every single person. You helped them to avoid the farm. Crooked men, you took him back to the witching well. Uh, you, you imprisoned him. D, you chose to smash him over the head with a bottle during the interrogation. You confiscated D's money while he was in custody. Yeah, we still have that money. Uh, Faith, you gave her money right after the fight with Woodsman. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Grin, you drank with Grin after Lily's funeral. Holly, you pretended to be Wood. Uh, you pretended to be Woodsman while she was passed out. Yeah, I mean, I needed to get as much evidence as possible. You know, so I had to. You know. Uh, what's the word? Improvise. Uh, Narissa, you gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. You tried to take off her ribbon in Biggie's office. You paid her extra money when arranging for your date. And that was... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did do that. So she can take us... So I can get the key to the room. Uh, Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. T Tiny Tim, he chose to wait for him. TJ, you accepted Beetle and promised to give him, give it to Snow. Oh, wow. But what a series. This is one of my favorite series so far. Uh, I, I love this series. Thank goodness I didn't miss a day of this. This was fun. This was this was great. What? Continue the story. Fables Wolves. Pick up a graphic novel? They have a graphic novel? I might need to pick stuff. I need I probably need to pick some stuff up then. If it's available. I, I I'll most definitely check it out after this, but uh pick a graphic novel today. I I will look it up. I'll check it out. But amazing, great game. And we do have some Book of Fables, so let's look at this real quick before we end it here. So with that, let's get into our conclusions on this. So starting with Vivian. Vivian's story, the girl with the web with the ribbon. Vivian was the first, was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As the time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck, despite her pleas for him to leave it alone. One night, while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it, and he pulled on the edge of the screen. Vivian woke and saw her husband was uh, saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity uh, of his actions, but her husband wasn't able to understand. She realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. Thank goodness I didn't take that ribbon off. At the, like, imagine if I took that ribbon off from Nerissa in my office, in Big B's office. That would have made it so much worse. And then, at the very end, if Vivian didn't die, she wouldn't get. We wouldn't got in any of the evidence. We would have never got in all the evidence. So thank goodness I did the right thing. All right. Next up, the pudding and pie, Vivian and Georgie's place. Vivian and Georgie met during the Exodus from the homelands, and they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living with what little money they had. 
but they opened the pudding and pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than to be forced through desperation for work at once. At one. Next up, Winter Wolf, Bigby's mother. Oh. Biggie's mother, okay. Bigby's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs. He quickly grew tired of her and left Winter, heartbroken and alone. She tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby. But as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his little older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in the search of their father, but Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. From then on, from then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pain he caused his family. Mm. Then the big bad wolf where we saw his true form, his final form. Bigby's true form is that of a giant eight foot tall wolf. In addition to his iconic huff and puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for a normally long amount of time making it impossible for him to drown. Ooh. We haven't seen that much. He hasn't been in the water. Now, Mary's loyalty. Freaking sick individual. Like, look at her. Freaking shards are across her face. Let's just get this done. Part of the job. Bloody Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased, as she pleased, as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the Crooked Man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the Crooked Man to the death, mostly because she finds it fun. Of course she does. Fable Town Justice. When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the tradition procedure is to hold a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. Thank goodness we're... I feel like we could have done the well, but I feel like, yeah, it was up to me anyway at the end of the day. I was the judge in this situation. I've done pretty much everything. So I get this, I get the, I get the say even if people like it or not. Next up, a new order, Snow White in charge. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as the Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the new world safely. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. I mean, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be way tougher on her shoulders, but I believe that she got it through. What we do need is more freaking police officers and more detectives. It can't just be freaking Bigby. It needs to be somebody else to help us out, just for a little bit, you know. Anyways. Sheriff Bigby. At the end, after fleeing the homeland, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe with the Fable Colony, quickly developing in the New World. Snow White and Feathertop tracked 
down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed. And Snow cut him with a icothropy stained knife. A canrothby? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. To give him the power to change into human form at will. Bigby became shelf sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration. But because of his violent past, many fables didn't trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. So that's why. That's why he never got into the farm. But uh, hopefully TJ and hopefully Toad can be totally fun at the farm. But there you have it. I enjoyed this amazing game. Thank you, Telltales, for making this beautiful game. And uh, yeah, overall, this was just like a detective type story. I love it. Having like fantasy characters from the books, from Snow White to Beauty and the Beast to The Little Mermaid to freaking crane from uh hollow sleepy hollow you know it's 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 it, very interesting the three the pig from three little pigs and the monkey from oz you know it, 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 it's cool to see a murder disney type fantasy you know uh disney murder fantasy which is very cool so i'm glad that they made this and i can't wait for season two um which uh there was a trailer for it of course and i don't know when it will come out um i won't i won't say that i won't i will be playing it day one but it is for sure on the list whenever that game comes out it will be closer than you think probably closer when the release is but probably not the day of its release but we shall see but at the end of the day, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching this whole entire series if you watched the whole thing. Thank you guys so much. And uh, with that being all, we are on to our next game. Which that game will be. Everything I've done. Both good and bad. I've done for my family. 